What's up guys, as you know. Okay, so you know I had, uh, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, <laughs> I, um, while waiting for my uh, first Westco Morrison boot, I ordered another one. I designed and ordered another one. I, cause it's just, you know, I, uh, I'm an addict. <laughs> um, so it arrived. Like, uh, oh, I can't wait. So I, I, I had kind of an idea of what I ordered, but then I had to kind of look back and I'm like, I think I know what, wait, what's going on? I was like, I think I know what I ordered. Oh, there we go. I think I know what I ordered. Uh, but then the box is so much smaller than the other one. So <laughs> let's get into this. I can't wait to see. Come on, come on, get off it. Ah, this one's like a square. <laughs> Look at that big one there. <laughs> this big one here, and then this, this is like a square. Let's get into it. I can't wait to see these Morrisons that I ordered. Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot. Actually, holding this reminds me of the boot that I'm wearing. I'm, today, I'm wearing the Rios of Mercedes uh, work uh, roper in the rough out um, with that uh, sole, uh, tread sole. Um, similar to this. Look at this. I, I totally forgot. So, okay. So, I will say it's lighter than I thought. Um, but it's so cool. It's, I thought it was going to be like a darker, uh, rough out. I did a whole rough out thingy here. Um, and shorter than the other one. Uh, man, <laughs> this is amazing. Like I can, I honestly, I wish these didn't take so long to make, you know, like 12 weeks or whatever, because I would probably have one in every color. <laughs> I probably would sit there and like just make, you know, everyone. Oh man, this is so cool. Um, yeah, so this is a Morrison shorter, all rough out versus the other one that I did. Um, and uh, very excited. This is so cool, man. Let's see. Did this come with? Oh yeah, this one comes with a book too. Cool. Anything else in here? I wonder if they if they um think that people are just going to throw out the box because it just comes with this and then the other boot and a, a book inside it. I wonder if most West Coast owners just toss the box. I keep my boxes. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to wear these. Okay, so um, uh, let's take a closer look at the... Well, wait, before before I we do that, I have the other one that I ordered, the other uh, West Coast here that I've been wearing. So I've been wearing these... Um, quite a bit trying to break them in um, as I mentioned when I did the on feet there was heel slip the left boot the heel slip uh, went away the right still has a bit of heel slip we had like 15 anywhere from well let's see 15 inches uh, 15 or 18 inches fell in Central Park so we got hit with snow uh, in New York City and I think parts of Jersey got like two three feet something like that something crazy like that but um, I've been wearing these around the city and you know people are kind of like so if you've ever been to new york uh, after a snowstorm they do clean it up rather quickly um, but what happens is you get these massive puddles at the at the cross when you're trying to cross the street because the snow is just melting and just settling there you know where it kind of like has that little that dip and so i'm was running errands and there's easily like if you step in your foot is just boom it's in it and so you see people walking for some reason wearing sneakers and after it just snowed 15 inches and they're like trying not to you know they're tiptoeing i'm like why why would you do that i'm like i have on my 14 inch west coat boots just walking through like nothing like this snow this slush this water means nothing so uh, I, I put them through it. They, they got soaked, um, which helped with the break in, you know, getting that leather um, to uh, soften, which, which is cool. I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm all about it. I, I purposely, I was like, where can I go to in the middle of this blizzard? I was like, I'm going to go get a donut. So I went to Dunkin', I walked to Dunkin' Donuts and put these on and made sure I was in every bit of the snow, walked the dogs, um, and was just stomping in, in the snow and puddles and everything because you just want to 
get these boots wet and get that leather nice and uh, broken in. So these, um, these have been cool. I've been, I really enjoyed these. Um, so that's the semi update on this uh, Morrison. And now these new babies here. Oh man. I have to figure out what, I have to figure out what I did. I'm gonna have to find the paper or maybe just look online because I, I don't remember the name of the leather. Um, but anyways, let's take a closer look at the Wesco Morrison in the All Rough Out. Okay, so here is a closer look at the Wesco Morrison uh, Rough Out. So it's funny because <laughs> my old lady, so I had two boots arrive this week and my old lady was like, another pair of boots? <laughs> But that's kind of the average. I usually get like two pairs of boots a week. Uh, this, this show, I gave her the heads up. I was like, I'm getting a pair that you actually helped me measure my foot. So those are on the way. So she, uh, I gave her the heads up at least with, with these. Um, so I, I have uh, my computer up so I can tell you exactly what. So this is uh, the um, brown rough out. That's what this is. That, that's what uh, Wesco calls this. I thought it would be a little bit darker, um, but I'm happy as it is how it looks. Um, so this is a 12 uh, inch shaft. The, the other one I did was um, a 14 inch shaft. I know some of you were like, that's really tall, da da da. It's really not that tall. Um, cowboy boots, the standard cowboy boot is like 13. So this one is, it looks it, but it's really not that tall. This is 12, not that. Uh, not that big. I know uh, two, two inches uh, can uh, be a lot for you guys. But uh, <laughs> it's not that, uh, not that big of a deal to me. <laughs> so I left the, the sole uh, natural as like the other one. I really like that. I did the um, brown stitching and I did a khaki stitching uh, just like on the, the other um, uh, Morrison. So I kind of like kept the same, um, stitching, welt, and, uh, outsole. And I even did the 700 Vibram on this one as well. Um, and I have to say wearing that it, it does, um, work in the snow and on the ice in the slush. I was not slipping whatsoever. So, um, I do, uh, like the, that sole a great deal. Um, yeah, I, I am just, I, I can't wait to try these on and see how they look on, on, on feet. Cause this, I think this color uh, um, lends itself to style very nicely and very easily. And um, the, it has a nice rugged and could also kind of be slightly dressy depending on, but the, the one thing I do like about the Wesco Morrison is that it, it is like built tough and uh, has a, a really nice rugged look and feel. Um, looking at this color and looking at the heel and all that when I see it, it kind of does have a, a, a little bit of a, um, a white drover kind of vibe. Uh, not as Western as that, but um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised I don't see more of the, more, the West Coast Morrison um, out, like why people have kind of like overlooked, overlooked it. It's, uh, yeah, I know the, everyone loves their engineers. This is basically the same uh, minus, you know, this pull strap here and you would have a strap here for an engineer. This is not rounded. It's flat. You have a strap and that's it. That's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of like the same. Um, yeah, it's just so <laughs> beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful boot. Um, and the inside here, oh, I, I did the, uh, there's the book like last time. And there, I just did a generic, uh, whatever standard insole they put in here. Um, this one, this time is black this time. The last time I had one that was brown, this one is um, black. And uh, yeah, fully leather lined, just uh, that beautiful um, rough out in that brown. So for me, I love rough out leathers. Um, I, should, I should say I love the rough out of a leather. 
because it's so much more durable uh, to scratches, uh, to scuffs. Um, it's just easily you just take a brush or any, anything and just brush whatever staining, whatever marks, you just brush it right out. Take an eraser and you can, you know, dig into whatever there is. That, to me, it's just uh, it's everything that you want in a boot is just having those this rough out. Oh man, and it's just, this is really like, this is stiff. Um, so it's gonna be, this, this boot is gonna last me for sure. Um, <laughs> I would, that's kind of why I was kind of like getting rid of some of my Red Wings because uh, I was like, okay, a boot like this easily and some of my Red Wings easily will last you 10 years if you take care of them. And the way I take care of my boots, they would, they would last 10 plus years because I just take care of the leather itself by conditioning it. And I'm thinking, okay, so all the boots that I have, my age, there's no way that I would ever be able to get to where or to actually like get to these boots to a, like where they could possibly go. So that's why I'm like, you know, I just need to sell these and, and someone else can, you know, uh, take that boot on a journey. Um, so <laughs> uh, something like this, definitely um, I will have um, as long as I can, as long as I live till my 60s and 70s, I will definitely have this boot in my 60s and 70s for sure for sure um so yeah uh what else can we say about this <clears throat> we could take a look at the other one uh just as cool the 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 rough out is on this one interestingly is is a bit rougher uh i don't know if you can t see that or not but it this one is a bit hairier as, as uh, the best way to describe it than this one um, this is the, the left boot is a bit like that, but, um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know guys. This is, this is just such a cool, I, I, Wesco does an amazing job building a boot. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I would, I would definitely do more and build more of these. Um, I just wish they didn't take as long as they do, but I understand the process. Um, but yeah, I would do, ah, what do I have? Like five more of these, maybe <laughs> eight more. No, 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 no. Um, but, uh, yeah, very happy. And I want to put these on and uh, see how they feel. Uh, well, I'm sure they'll be similar, but just to look at this leather and, uh, yeah, the Wesco Morrison in, uh, the, uh, brown rough out, man. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's do the on feet. Well, 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 I think we may have a new favorite boot in the collection look at these on feet now i have to tell you the uh, profile of the morrison uh, is out of this world just spectacular these boots okay so now they the fit are, is different than the first ones that i had so there is zero slip well not zero but minimal slip in the left uh, the right has a bit, but uh, what I would expect, but not as much as the the first pair that I reviewed. Um, so the fit definitely is better on these. Now the profile of the boot is, oh, good lord, I put them on and looked in uh, a full length mirror, and wow. These are something else. And you know what the best thing about these is that they're just going to get even better with time. That rough out is going to take on a bunch of characteristics. Start to break in nicely. The sole will soften. The leather, leather bed will soften uh, just all around. And right now, uh, the sun is, there's like a nice uh, reflection off a of building hitting. Um, the, the building that I'm standing next to and creating this uh, kind of like goldish kind of light and it's from what I can see a little bit in the monitor here uh, it looks really cool and I can't wait to 
get like a nice little close up so I can see what you all will be seeing of these uh, Morrison boots. The brown uh, rough out. So this is just uh, the standard brown that um, Wesco offers. Uh, the brown rough out um, will darken. And if I apply, you know, uh, mink oil or something to it, it, and it will take on uh, texture as well as darken um, in certain spots. But <laughs> I tell you, I'm just, these are so cool. And I, I honestly can't believe that more people aren't out there wearing the Morrison. I see, like I had stated before, you see a lot of the engineers, but this just makes so much sense. And, uh, oh, I'm wearing a uh, Gap Selvage denim in the straight fit, in the case uh, any, any of you on one is curious. I've been wearing these a lot, especially with the, uh, the other Morrisons that I, I own, um, being that they're 14-inch um, boot, so I wanted a, a, a straight leg. Uh, as to not have like that shaft peeking out and uh, these look great as well as the other ones uh, very happy picking up the Morrison uh, yes worth the weight absolutely and uh, the build quality is these are tough these are just like tough tough boots man I don't <laughs> I, I don't even know what else to say. Like the other ones, the other Morrisons that I've had, I've, I've honestly been wearing them as much as I can. Um, even I was wearing them while in the house, just cleaning the house. I put them on just to like have them and get my, my foot to kind of settle in that footbed and have the heat of my, my feet in there and kind of mold it. Um, these will probably be, will go the same route. And I'll put them, put them on and wear them while I'm, you know, around the house to get them to, to uh, mold to my feet. It's, it's been really cold, so I haven't been, go been able to go on really long walks because it's just too, too cold to do that. Uh, but once the weather gets a little bit nicer, I will definitely put these on and go for a two-mile walk just to, like, get that, uh, break that boot totally in. Um, but man, I absolutely love these. Look at that. Just look at that. Woo. Man. Wesco, you guys make an amazing, amazing boot. Thank you so much. All right, so that is the Wesco Morrison in the uh, Rough Out Brown. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time with another boot. <laughs>